Hi, my name is Alejandra Villarreal and I am the bass player of the band The Warning. Um, our new single, More, just came out, so go check it out. And I am going to be talking about my bass today. This is my bass. This is a custom USA bass. It's an NS5XL. I am a Spectre artist. I designed this bass with them. Everything from the wood and the, um, the material, the color, everything, every step we did it together to the inlays which is the um this is our logo so everything everything we did together and i really love it um we did special wood in the back it's i think it's redwood to make the base lighter because most of their bases are extremely heavy and, and so i just wanted to make it get a bit lighter but it's still it's still great wood for the sound of the bass and i feel like it's just perfect for everything we do with the band so, so yeah. I love it. I started using a five string bass like maybe three years ago now, four years, and I quite love it. A fan actually gifted me a Spectre bass, a four string Spectre bass, um, like five years ago maybe, and since then I've loved Spectre, and, and I'm really proud to now own a custom bass. You can actually get this design, which is called Alice Inferno, in the Spectre website, and I also we just released a signature model, which is my model. It's a four string bass. And it was inspired by this original bass that we designed with Spectre. So, so yeah, and it also has my signature in the back, which is awesome, I love it. And the last thing that we just added to this bass are lights. And so this is, it looks really cool, but it's also really helpful for when we play live and you know the lights are all over the place it's just so i can go back and i know where i'm playing so these pickups are emgx pickups i have well two normal knobs and a stack i think knob that's how they're called um and this is regular volume this is the blend for the pickups this side is mostly this pickup i use it in the middle and these are the basic EQ. these are the high ends i use it almost all the way up not not all the way up though. I use it in standard tuning, so it's B, E, A, D, G. I standard tuning all the way. The strings I use the Dario strings. I use the NYXL 45 to 130, and I I love them. They sound pretty good. Uh, they last a really long time, and they're not too bright. They're not too flat, I guess. But yeah, I love these strings. I don't have to change them out as often. This is my pedal board. Um, I don't use that many pedals, but this is a preamp. I love this preamp so much. I actually used it. It was one of the first pedals I got, I ever got. And then I stopped using it. And then I was like, I miss this pedal. And it's such a good uh, preamp. Really, this is how I control most of the sound that goes out when we play live. I really like the bass. To really cut through, since we're a, a trio, um, we feel like the bass is really important, so we really want to have a bottom end. But this also really helps us um, define well what I'm playing, because sometimes you really can't hear what the bass is playing. You can only feel it. I mostly only use the Engage. I don't use the AGS, um, but this is the gain volume. I, it's not the volume of the gain. Um, <laughs> and I really just use it at half, treble, half. Everything is mostly in the half position, um, bass, not too much, not too little, mid frequencies, mid levels, they're all just halfway there. With a mix of this and my bass, it's really easy to be able to, you can, to be able to hear what I'm playing correctly without losing that bottom end. So I feel like that's really important to me and this really helps me do that. <clears throat> as well as this other pedal, which is the dark glass microtubes. I love this bass overdrive it's so good i've also tried a lot of overdrives over the past few years and this one is really cool because it's really easy to blend the the overdrive like the distortion sound as much as you can or as little as you want it to so it's not really overpowering and you can still hear what i'm playing like as i said like you can hear the bass lines without becoming just like this mess of like distortion. This is the overdrive, I usually leave it all the way up and I mix as much of it as I want. And here, this is the blend between 
your normal bass sound and the distortion, I usually keep it almost halfway there as everything. <laughs> so yeah, here you just blend it as much as you want and it's really nice because you can still hear the original sound of the bass just with a bit of distortion on it. So it's amazing, I quite love it. This is my lovely tuner. You can't have a pedal board without a tuner. It's really important to me and it also serves as a mute button. It's just muted. And it's really nice as well because even while I'm playing, I can see the tuner move around. So if I'm ever like mid song and I have no idea if I'm tuned well, I can play a note and it'll tell me if I'm tuned or not. So yeah, it's just my tuner. This is the switch between my wireless so I can use it normally. This is for the wireless and the wireless is at the bottom. So it's packed in here. So yeah, this is just to activate and deactivate the wireless pack. So yeah. This is what I use for live shows. I don't have this actually at home, but this is what we use for live shows. This is an Ampic cab. This is an eight by 10 and it's just that classic Ampic sound, which I love. And this is a Mesa amp. Um, it is mic'd and all, but we mostly use this for on stage and for like the people in front so you can really feel the bass. I love this. It's honestly such a help when, when we're on stage because sometimes you can't really feel the energy that the crowd feels. Like you, you can't feel it on stage. And the amps like really help us to feel the bass. So mostly I just love it to have like a lot of bottom end so I can feel and listen my bass on the outside as well. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our new music and go to thewarningbank.com for any other information you want to know about us and yeah, thank you.